everybody welcome back to my channel my name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up. How are we all doing? Hope you're all really well and had a really good week. I had planned to come on and do a Friday sews yesterday and just didn't get time so I'm really sorry about that but I'm back today and thought I would do a little catch up with you and I've got three finished makes to share with you that I've got done this week which I'm including the Ellery dress which I talked about in my last vlog I will link to that up here if you missed it so that you can go and check that out. All I needed to do with this dress was hem it, which was a very quick step to do. Although the hem on this was actually really long. I did do a blind hem, which is my favourite finish for dresses because you can't really see it. And yeah, I love doing that on my sewing machine. I think it's a really, really good technique for finishing hems and yeah. So it was very quick. If I had been hand hemming it, it would have taken me forever. I'm absolutely sure of that. But yeah, I will insert some footage of me wearing it because when I talked about it in my last vlog, I hadn't actually tried it on, which was not good, was it? I don't recommend you do that when you're making something. I would recommend that you do try things on as you, you know, work through it. So anyway, fortunately, with this being an oversized fit, it fits fine. I'm really happy with it. And you'll see from the footage that, yeah, it's it's a lovely dress. It was straightforward to sew up. No complaints at all. Let me talk about, before we move on to what I have made from scratch this week, let me talk about what I'm wearing today. So I am wearing the Saltwater Slip Dress by Friday Pattern Company. I'm sure you've heard of this pattern before because it's been a really popular summer dress pattern. And I've dragged this out of my summer storage clothes storage do we does anybody else do that where you store everything away in summer and winter that you're not going to wear that aren't seasonally appropriate anyway this has been stored away for a couple of years because i couldn't fit into it last year but i'm pleased to say that i can now and so i'm really happy that i can wear it again but i have three of these dresses now I think. I think I've made three of the salt waters and this is probably my favourite one and this is the hacked version. So I'll stand up and show you it in a bit more detail. So on the Friday Pattern Company website Chelsea the designer has a couple of tutorials to show you how you can hack the salt water and this one is where you basically cut off the front pattern piece at the empire line and then you create an extra piece for the top which is all sort of gathered in and it's really pretty. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm sorry for the close-up of my boobs by the way but anyway um, hopefully you can see how that's all gathered in and then you can see just the seam line there that just comes just underneath my bust and the back pattern piece is just the same as it always has been. You've got obviously this tie detail around the front with the little side splits. I'll just come back a little bit more. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. So the side splits are just there, just to sort of, I would say the lower part of your thigh, a couple of inches above the knees. But yeah, really like it. This fabric is a viscose chalet that I have no idea where I got this from, to be honest. Uh, you know, as I say, I made this a couple of years ago now, but it's really lovely, really nice. I think viscose is probably one of the best choices for this pattern. It's, yeah, it's really lovely. So love wearing this and it's great that I can actually wear it again, although putting it on this morning, as soon as I put it on, the heavens opened and it started raining. I am sure those of you that are overseas are sick of all us UK vloggers talking about the rain because, yeah, it's all we're doing at the minute because the weather in the UK has been atrocious for months and we've got no signs of summer yet, but we'll move on. <laughs> okay, so the next make what have we got to show you so i have made a pair of trousers this week and i've wanted to make this pattern for a while after seeing some gorgeous versions 
out there, including my lovely friend Tamlin, who has made the shorts version. Isaac's just waving to me. He's tied in his room. Um, yes, Tamlin has made the shorts version a couple of times and I just love them so much that I wanted to have a go at them myself. And that is the Foxy Boxes by Gracie Steele, who I believe is an Australian or New Zealand designer. I'm not quite sure, to be honest, where she's from. But anyway, the this pattern is a pair of very loose fit trousers or shorts with a deep elasticated waist and it's designed for a height of five foot seven it comes in sizes well they're actually lettered so they are lettered from a to g and you choose your size based on your hip measurement because obviously the waist is fully elasticated it has a faux front fly as well and they're designed to sit on your natural waist wide legged and yeah I just really love the design. Also, they have pockets, which is great in trousers. So the body measurements for this pattern, as I say, the only measurement she gives you actually is the hip measurement. And it comes in sizes 34 inch hip up to a 60.8, I believe it is. But there is an awful lot of ease in this particular pattern and the finished measurements are a hip of 44 up to a 70 inch hip she does actually recommend if you are making the long version as in the trousers that you actually size down one to two sizes because they're they are designed to be really loose fitting through the leg which is great for those of us that have chunkier thighs i looked at the finished measurements when i chose my size for this pattern and i went for the C size which has a finished measurement of 46 inches and my hips are currently 42 inches so that gave me four inches of ease through the hips. I did want these loose and fairly flowy and I'm really happy with how these have turned out. So let me show you them first and then I'll insert some footage for you. So you have this really deep elasticated waist that has four lines of top stitching through the elastic so it secures the elastic in place which i love this idea i think it gives a really nice finish the elastic that you use is actually three inch deep or she does say that you can use two elastic channels and use the sort of narrower elastic i can't remember the size that she mentions it would be one and a half inches won't it so I used three inch deep elastic. I bought some elastic specifically for these trousers and yeah, it gives you a really deep hem as well. She allows for, I think, a three centimetre hem, but mine is actually even deeper. I used some rainbow overlocking underneath, which I just love overlocking thread that is rainbow coloured. It's just my favourite. So this fabric is a gorgeous dusky sort of rose stretch linen viscose. I aren't sure where I got this from. It might have been from First for Fabrics, but I can't remember. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I used a little Kylie and the Machine label so that I could identify which the back was. And I do have pockets in these, but you will see from the footage that I insert here that I did have a little bit of an issue. And I don't know whether I have printed this pattern off correctly or I made an error with when I cut out my size. There's no separate waistband to this pair of trousers. It's basically an elongated top that you turn over by half an inch and then you turn over again by three inches. Now, when I did that, it the top actually completely covered half of the pocket. And so I'm not sure whether I have misjudged where the notches are for the size that I cut out and positioned the pockets in the wrong place too high up. I must have done that. But the other thing is, she does say that these sit on your natural waist. However, I found that the rise is actually really short. And again, that could be because I've completely misjudged where the actual cut line was for the top of this pattern and have cut them too short. I don't know. I don't know what I've done, but they don't sit on my natural waist. You'll see from the images that they're actually a little bit lower and 
it's fine. I don't mind them being more sort of hipster style. I think it works with the style and works with the pattern. But I've done something wrong. I'm sure I have. I haven't had the chance to speak to Tamlin about it yet because I know she's made these a couple of times and I, I certainly don't think she's mentioned that there's been an issue like that in the versions that she's made. So I don't know whether I've just done something completely wrong. But Tamlin and Ruan are coming over to mine today because we are going out tonight. We're going to do a Northern Soul Sisters Live, which is amazing. And I've got my social tomorrow. So they're coming to my social tomorrow, which is going to be lovely. So I'm going to have a chat with Tamlin when she gets here later and see if she can sort of highlight to me where I've gone wrong with these. Because I would love to make them again, but I would need to either drop the crotch a little bit, probably by about half an inch. I think that would just give me a little bit more room, which would make me feel just a little bit more comfortable, I guess. But yeah, I don't know what I've done. If you've made these, let me know, because as I say, the pockets now, as you've been able to see from the footage, I can't get my hands in the pockets because the waist, back, the waist has come so far down that it's covered up most of the pockets. So that's a disaster, really. But otherwise... I absolutely love them. They are so comfortable to wear. I love the style of them. They feel like a really boho type of trouser, if that makes sense. I love this colour. I think it's gorgeous. It's one of my favourite colours. And yeah, I think it really goes well with my skin tone. So yeah, I'm super happy with them. Otherwise, I just want to know what I've done wrong with the waistband because it's clearly not right. So watch this space. If I figure it out, I'll let you know. So lastly, the last pattern that I have got sewn up this week is the Rani skirt by Tammy Handmade. Now, this is an older pattern of hers, but it's an absolute corker. I love Tammy's patterns. I just think they're so good. Her instructions are so clear and thorough. And yeah, I absolutely love her patterns. Now, I have made this pattern before. I've made, well, it comes in two versions. You've got a long sort of full length maxi skirt version with side slits, or you can do a shorter flirty knee length or just above knee length version that has a little frill on the bottom. They have a fully elasticated waist with a drawstring in as well. As well. And as usual, Tammy caters for a really, really inclusive and extensive size range from a 6 to 32, which is a 24 inch to 50 inch waist and a 34 to 60 inch hip. The finished garment measurements she just gives you for the hips because obviously the waist is elasticated, which goes from a 40 inch right up to a 66 inch hip. So it's really, really well sized pattern. And as I say, I've made this pattern before. I've made the long version and I've also made the short version as well. But I needed to go down a couple of sizes this time. So my measurements this time put me sort of between an 8 to 10 for the waist. And when I looked at the finished garment measurements of the size 10, which is a 44 inch hip, my hips are 42 inch. I felt I just needed a couple of inches of ease in the hip for this skirt this time. So that's what I went with. And I went with the size eight waist because obviously it's elasticated and I wanted it quite fitted. I found with the Foxy Boxers with this that actually the waist could have done with being a little bit tighter and a little bit more nipped in for me. So I decided with the Rani skirt that I would go down to the size eight waist, which is just bonkers. I can't remember the last time I was in that size. Not that size matters. It's just I'm still getting my head around that, if that makes sense. Anyway, here she is. Here is my Rani skirt. You'll notice this fabric design is very similar to the dress I'm wearing, but this is a cotton viscose. Now, I don't know how well this is going to come up on screen, but it's got like a very faint sort of stripe through the base cloth. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. You might see it better on the reverse side. So this was a remnant that I got from Abakan in Manchester back in March, I think it was, when I was visiting Isaac at uni. We found Abakan, believe it or not. And yeah, I had a little rummage and found this gorgeous, gorgeous remnant piece. Really like it. 
it's beautiful. So I made the full length version. I didn't bother with the drawstring. It's got elasticated waist, as you can see, and it's got the side splits as well. This was a super, super quick make. And did I put a label in this? I think I did because the front and back pattern pieces are exactly the same. There's no difference between them. You know, it literally is two pattern pieces for the front. No, one pattern piece for the front and back. And then you have a waistband as well. So I put in a little label from, I think, I can't remember who makes these labels. Somebody will tell me in the comments. But anyway, I put that little label in just so that I could identify the back from the front. And I love this skirt. I think it's gorgeous. I don't wear a lot of skirts and I don't really know why because I do wear a lot of separates. I wear a lot of jeans and tops. So you would think I would wear skirts and tops. But anyway, I want to wear more skirts. I didn't put pockets in it because I just wanted to get this sewn up as is. It, but you have the option of putting side seam pockets in if you want to. Obviously, I will put some footage in of me wearing this as well so that you can have a look. I love the fit of this skirt. I think it's really nice. And I want to make lots of naities to wear with this skirt, which is what I'm wearing in the footage that I'm going to insert. I'm wearing a white naity with it. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So... It's been a week of being quite productive, really, but, you know, they were fairly quick makes. And I think this is what's so lovely about, you know, elasticated waists. But I do prefer patterns that have that have quite a deep elasticated waist. I think they feel more comfortable to wear. And, you know, especially if you've got a bit of a mum tum thing going on it's it sort of doesn't dig in and give you that muffin effect if that makes sense so i love this skirt love my trousers both fairly quick makes instructions are great for both of them and yeah they are going to be in constant rotation in my wardrobe i expect so the only other thing i wanted to chat to you about this week is the sewing bee because it's back on our screens and I've kept wanting to mention it and keep forgetting. So are we watching it? Those of you that are in the UK, I know a lot of you that are international struggle to, to get hold of it, to watch, I guess, but I am really enjoying it. We've just had week three, which was, it was like French Riviera week. It was a great great week. There were some beautiful, beautiful makes this week, including a blouse that was made from old linen tablecloths with embroidery on, which were just stunning. And then, yeah, the garment of the week, they did like French Riviera and there were some absolutely stunning garments in that. So yeah, really, really lovely. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's great. And I know a few people have mentioned about, have mentioned to me in the past about entering it because I sew fast but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to be on TV <laughs> so thank you anyway for having the faith in me if you've recommended that to me but yeah you won't be seeing me on sewing bee ever I don't think <laughs> anyway the only other thing I wanted to show you that's come this week is some gorgeous labels that I got from Cozy Club Handmade who are in Canada she sells on Etsy, but she um, the, 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 the shipping is very, very reasonable and it is really quick. So I bought these two from her. So go and check her out. I will leave a link to her shop down below. She's got some really lovely designs. So they came. And then I also am a member of the Label Club by Lovely... Laura, who is the specky seamstress. She does like a monthly subscription for both her bias tape and her sewing labels. And I currently am just part of the sewing label club. So mine came a couple of days ago. Look away now if you are part of this club and you don't want to see what labels they are, because I'm going to show you right now. 
So here they are that came this week and I love them. I think they are gorgeous. So they say, you are fabulous. And these lovely little planet ones, which are just beautiful. So thank you, Laura, for those. Love, love, love those. And yeah, the only other thing is Fabric Godmother. They have released their new pattern this week, along with Tilling the Buttons and their new pattern, uh, which I know lots of people are saying they're quite similar in design. But I have bought both patterns and I would like to make them both and compare them. I think that would be really, really interesting to do. But Fabric Godmother have also brought out a new sort of collection of fabrics and trims and labels to go along with their new pattern called Le Weekend. I will leave a link to it down below so you can go and have a look. Um, and I have bought two of their fabrics that Mr. Postman has told me is going to be delivered today, which I am so excited about. They haven't come yet, so I can't show you on this vlog, unfortunately, but I am really looking forward to those coming. So as soon as they come, I will show you in my next vlog. Well, actually, it won't be my next vlog because my next vlog that's coming up is going to be my plans because I've already filmed it. So that's going to be out next week. And yes, I am back into regular vlogging, which is really good. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave it there and crack on with getting my house tidied before the girls descend. And yes, I will be back with you soon. Take care. Bye.